sorry, the video ended. I'm too, you know, too long-winded. But I tapped that bet down in just a little bit to hold it in place. It seemed that when I pulled it out originally, it was a little firm in there. So I want to make sure that I replace it the same, have it the same way. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't show you before was this circuit board. Now, if you get a lot of dust or something like that, you may want to take some, uh, you know, some dust blaster or something like that, some uh, computer pressurized gas, basically, and just, uh, you know, dust it off. There is a lithium ion battery there, so if your system is not holding a charge, or I, I apologize, holding your information, this may be the reason why, this is probably the reason why, reason why uh, it's does not I don't see the name on it the number on it Let's see if I can spin it um, no I can't I don't want to mess with it too much it may be even uh, soldered to the board as far as, as far as I know I, I don't think so but uh, it's a CR something so that should be able to be replaced easily if someone needs to replace that just take it into any TV shop and they can change that out for you just take the board just as is and uh, that's it so there is the connector for this. It only fits on one way. And then these two connectors, they fit on just the way that you think they should. Make sure you don't, I don't think you'll really reverse them, but just in case, don't be an idiot and put them on backwards. But this, uh, this one uh, you put on with the wires facing down, and this one you put on with the wires coming down back into it. That's the way they came. So let me get this all tucked, up, tucked in, and then you'll see it in a moment. Uh, there's also clips here that when you push it on, these little plastic clips spread and hold it into place. There's, uh, I believe, two of them. There's one here and one here. Here. There we go. Uh, and those will hold the board into place. And let me show you that. Bye. Hold on. Okay. Once again, this wire tucks in these uh, red, blue, and black wires you see here. Uh, and a little bit of yellow in there, too. Uh, tuck in between those two plastic pieces there. Make sure you have them like that, otherwise it won't clip, clip down properly. So I've got these connected properly. I've got that one in. I'll push this back together. That clipped in. And that clips in. Let me push this back down again. Something holding up. Nope. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put this on. Don't want to do that. So, these two sensors here, I would give these a good blow with your just either a little pressurized gas. Let me show you. Sorry. Those two sensors right there on the bottom of the board. I'm just going to hit them with a little bit of, you know, oxygen for me. Uh, just blowing in a little CO2 and um, try and knock out any dust. That may be the problem. If it continues to be a problem, I'll take a can of blaster and hit it, but I just don't have any right now. So I'm doing the next best thing. Uh, and then I'll those fit right into here, these two holes, and I'll clip it back on. I'll come back in a moment. Okay, the board wasn't sitting down well before because... Let me see if I can focus here. Okay. The board wasn't sitting well down, uh, down well before because some of these wires were sitting on top of this housing. It fits pretty darn close to that housing, so there's not really room for wires to be laying on top. Again, I did tuck them here, but there's still a little bit of slack. Um, if you're having issues, maybe that's the reason. Just a moment. Okay. Found out why the board's not sitting well. I didn't get this to clip all the way in for some reason, so let me work on this a little bit more to find out why this is not sliding down more. Okay, I figured it out. This little plastic right here was not fitting inside the groove there. So I just pushed it a little bit and it slid right down in, no problem. Everything fits nice and tight. Didn't check that before. Um, again, um, I'm showing you those holes because when you put this board on, you need to make sure that those two little prongs fit into those two open holes right there. So uh, I'm going to reconnect it and we'll do this again. Oh, 
Okay, well, if nothing more, hopefully you've learned that I am not perfect. Let me clean the lens. Let's see if that makes a difference. No. Okay, you can see that I am not perfect. Uh, I've made many mistakes on putting this back together, but nothing fatal. Okay, when that those two holes, you got to make sure they line up with that little uh, rubber cushion there and push inside so that they uh, fit correctly. And then everything snaps. A clip there. And a little clip there just kind of holds on to everything. Holds it nice and tight. Then from this point, if you remember, we had this little tray that I forgot to mention originally. And we can set that on here. There we go. It just pushes right on like that. And then this, we are going to, oops, sorry, these two tabs, I'll set in there. Let's see how close I get. Actually, I want to clean this lens. My lens is really dirty. Hmm. I have a little bit of cleaning solution here still. Maybe moisture from over the years from traveling with it. Okay, so let's try this again. Again, doing this one-handed one -handed is lovely. Uh, there we go. Don't force it down. Oops. Actually, it's not going to fold over like I thought it did. Hold on, let me, I'll go through this in a moment. I'll, let me get this on, I need two hands. Okay, so let me, hold on one moment, I think I've got this zoomed somehow or something. Okay, so you don't put that little tray on right now, you put it on afterward, and then it clips on. That's it. This sucker just pushes on, let me get it in there facing the right way. Difficult. One hand and also looking at the screen of the camera, make sure I'm showing it as best I can. I'll get that in in a moment. I don't need to do it right this moment. So flip it over, put the two screws in. Again, this just has a little tab on it, if you can see it, on both sides, and it just pushes in at the end and clips in. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's something else I forgot. This little cover. Uh, your machine probably came with two of these. Uh, one for this side, one for the other side, if you do not use a humidifier. Uh, I occasionally do. I don't usually use it, but occasionally I do. And let's see here, I believe it goes in this direction. And it pops in. Otherwise, you're going to have exposed wires where you can see these wires when you put this sucker on, if you can see. So you put that on, it'll cover up those wires, make the end look nice and clean. You do not uh, you absolutely need this on your unit just to keep the dust and everything from outside of it. This is the side that you hook up the uh, humidifier to if you if you want to do that. You do not need the dust cover on that. It won't work if you have the uh, it won't work with the humidifier if you have the dust cover on this side. I use it just without because there's no sense and there's no real reason to have it on there in my opinion. But hold on and I'll be back. Okay, here comes the moment of truth or failure. Uh, this all this piece a little clipped right in. I put the SD card back in. I put my filter in. Uh, not much else to say. I put the screws in on the bottom, and I double checked my uh, I double checked my uh, uh, screw tension on there. And here we go. 